water walking, water aerobics. What's the story? Is it good for you or is it just fluff? I'm gonna tell you the science behind it. Two really interesting studies. One of them done in postmenopausal women compared land-based exercise to water-based exercise. And guess what it found? The group who did the water-based exercise had an improvement in their muscle strength, an improvement in their bone density, an increase in their aerobic fitness, and an increase in their agility and flexibility. Sounds like a win to me. Other interesting study done in Australia looked at older adults, men and women, followed them for six months, three groups, a control group, a land-based walking group and a water-based walking group. They matched the heart rate intensity on the land group and the water group. After six months, the end point they looked at was cardiovascular fitness. Guess what? The water walking actually showed a slight benefit in improving VO2 max, improving lean mass of the lower limbs compared to the land walking. Risk benefit, this is low impact, low risk. It may be more enjoyable, particularly for certain populations, maybe of older adults. Even though 30% of your body mass weight is reduced by being in the water, water exercises can improve your bone density. It can also burn calories, and they're good for your cardiovascular fitness. Next time you pass a water aerobics class, don't throw shade at them. They're actually working.